Hi, my name is Shane White, and what we're showing off today is our Micro Armor family of lubricants. And what we have is a line of greases, oils, and sprays that are going to reduce friction tremendously in any application from racing to trucking to farming, whatever you're into. What we're doing is if you think about grease and oils and sprays, it's all just wet lubrication trying to make scratched up metal slippery. And that's great, that slows down the wear and process, but what we're doing is completely unique by adding microscopic little balls of soft metal, some people know as Babbitt, into our lubricants, and that's gonna basically rollerize everything and make things, so instead of your metal doing this, it's gonna rollerize everything, put balls in between, and take the friction right out. And so our particles are soft metal. They also use the heat and pressure and friction to fill in the scratches and make the metal smoother. We're taking that technology and putting it in our entire line of products. We have the Micro Armor 1000 that goes in engines. It's an engine oil treatment, so you can keep using whatever oil you like. Just add our product in with it, one ounce per quart. An eight ounce bottle will do eight quarts of oil and it's gonna reduce the friction going to fill in the scratches, so it's going to drop temperature, it's going to boost compression and boost horsepower. We also have our gear oil treatment that's great for those quick change rear ends or standard transmissions. It's awesome for dropping about 20 degrees and ring and pinions, so it's going to make you go faster, it's going to put less stress on your parts, and you're also going to wear those parts, it's going to basically last longer for you and save you a lot of money. We also take that same technology and put it in our spray lubricant. We jokingly call it WD-40 on steroids because it has the same soft metal technology to make metal smoother. It's the best heim joint lubricant or chain lubricant you'll find anywhere. Just shake it up really well, spray it on your application, work it back and forth, and it's gonna fill in the scratches and make the metal smoother. And then lastly, that brings us to our grease, the Micro Armor 6000 grease. It's a lithium complex phenomenal for any metal to metal application designed specifically for roller bearings but it works very very well in U joints or greasable hinds any kind of greasing application and it's going to basically it's going to fill in the scratches make your metal smoother and your parts are going to last much longer your wheels are going to be freer drops the temperature and you're going to go faster and so really that's the bottom line we supply that in a tube and a one pound tub it's a great product. If you swing right over here, what we've got is a dirt late model setup. And we've got just normal Timken bearings, no special coatings, no special you know, polishes or anything. Normal bearings using our Micro Armor 6000 grease. This has two years in the dirt late model, just sort of tearing up in the dirt and sand. And you can see it still just glides nice and easily. And again, it's protecting those bearings. They don't wear out, it continually fills in the scratches, makes things work you know, much better, perform better, and you're gonna go faster. So that's the key, and we're happy to help you out with your racing or other needs. Hey, I'm Brad Smith with Velocity Fire Suits, but also race crate late models. Uh, we've run some uh, Rotax, some RMAX, some different chipper stuff. We found out about Shane's product a few years ago, actually through Rusty Sling. Uh, we had a uh, crate engine that had about 50 nights on it. We actually put the uh, engine additive in and uh, did some dyno pulls. We actually were up at uh, Foley Machine and Engineering up in Stewart, Virginia, Jay Foley's chassis dyno. And what we didn't see at first was any power increase or anything like that. But after about six or eight dyno pulls, we noticed that our actually leak down numbers and actually our compression came up. The lowest cylinder gained about 12 pounds of compression. And we saw about a 15 horsepower gain overall. The motor was pretty tired. We were actually considering rebuilding. We actually took that motor to Charlotte that year, set the pole with it, and had a pretty phenomenal run with it. Unfortunately, we had a little weight problem at the end of the night, got in the but the motor was bad to bone. That motor went on the very next year to win a track championship at Rolling Thunder Speedway in Arad, Virginia. Since then, we've used Shane's stuff in all of our trailers, all of our farm equipment, all of our stuff. The biggest thing is it just doesn't wear out. It lasts forever. We've lowered all of our bearing temperatures. It's hands down the best breeds we've ever used. Nothing comes close to micro armor, first class stuff.